everybody, welcome to Audio Tree Live. It is October 17th, 2017, and we're very excited to be live in the studio today with Peach Pit. Thank you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is a song called Drop the Guillotine. <laughs> Take a second to say uh, hi to my mom. I talked to her on the phone this morning. She's home uh, with my little sister, Charlotte, who's sick. She was puking last night. So I hope you don't puke anymore, Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte, get better. She probably faked it, actually. She's in grade seven. She's probably not even sick at all. She probably chewed up some crackers or something and spat it on the floor and beside her bed. She's probably watching once. Price is Right, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Good job, Charlotte. Doing a good, good job. job. Charlotte. Feel better. 
Okay, this next song is called Being So Normal.
Auto Tree Lab. We're here with Peach Fit. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank awesome. You. From Vancouver. That's in Canada. Vancouver, Canada. That is in Canada. Is there, I was thinking, is there a tagline for Vancouver, like Windy City, Big Apple? <clears throat> no, but there is for, for British Columbia, for our province. It's beautiful British Columbia. Wow, that's a... Uh, yeah, it's bold. It's bold. Yeah. yeah. And kind of boring, but... Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's succinct, I guess. But all the you know. rich people in Vancouver like it. I bet. It looks I, good on their fancy Audis. <laughs> From what I've heard, it is, in fact, beautiful, so at least it's also truthful, I guess. Um, so you guys are on tour right now, uh, and you're heading to Europe in the spring. Is that the first time you'll, you guys have toured there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? That's the first time I've ever even been to really? Europe. Actually, this is like the first time we've been a lot of places. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I've never been to yeah. Chicago before either. Welcome. Thank How, you. It's been going pretty well. We already talked about the meats you guys should eat while you're here, which is the most important part of Chicago. Yeah. Um, is there anywhere in particular that you haven't been yet that you're really jazzed about? Uh, definitely Europe, for sure. Anywhere specific? Or, um, I mean, obviously all of it. What's going to be cool? Mm. Oh, I'll, um, yeah, for me, I'm excited to go to Sweden because uh, there's a couple songs on our new album about a girl who lives in Sweden. Interesting. She might be at the show, so I'm excited to oh, sing them to her. that's an interesting dynamic. Is this yeah. someone you know or someone from... Yeah, an old friend of mine. Old friend, that's cool. Very cool. Sweden, anybody, any of the other guys? Uh, yeah, Sweden? I've actually uh, been to Amsterdam before, but cool. my dad is from uh, the Netherlands. Oh. So he's going to fly out for his birthday because we're playing in Amsterdam on his birthday. Very cool. And he's been dying to go on tour with him, and I've been telling him no forever. <laughs> so this is like his big moment. Dad's I'm on tour? for him. Yeah. Is, uh, does he still have family that's there? Yeah, or? he does. Yeah. So he'll have cousins and stuff awesome. to stay with. That's very cool. Awesome. Now, you guys, anything, any other ones? I have some family in uh, Germany. Nice. From my mom's side, and I think they're going to come out. That's yeah. that's very cool. You guys are very international <laughs> <laughs> fan base. Yeah, yeah. Family and not family, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be good. I'm, I'm stoked for all of it. Cool. It's, it's going to be wild. That's very yeah. exciting. And Dad's on tour is also a, a thing that is always looking forward to. Yeah. yeah Chris's <laughs> dad wanted to come with us to, like, we were going to, like, Revelstoke, which is, like, a small town in B.C., like, not an exciting place mm -hmm. to visit. And but. he was like, oh, man, I just really want to come on the road with you guys and, like, <laughs> be a junkie with you. And I was like, a junkie? Dad? He was like, yeah, a junkie. I was like, you mean a groupie? He was like, yeah. I was like, you can't be either. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it means, like, a roadie, something, yeah. you know, yeah. not a junkie, Dad. Not a junkie. It's okay. He's doing his best. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> Trying to make dad jokes, and they're falling flat a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Um, and also speaking of tour, you guys mentioned tour tattoos. Oh yeah, when we oh, we yeah. were just uh, in in uh, down the west coast uh, mm -hmm. for back in August, and we passed through Vegas, not because we had a show there, but because we we're like we could pass through Vegas. Right. So we went to Vegas. We did all the Vegasy things. We drank way too much, and then <laughs> all of us and our manager now have matching it's Vegas this, tattoos. This right oh, yeah. any significance to the numbers? Or? It's, the, it's the worst hand you can have in Texas Hold'em. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. No. Well, there you go. And beautiful memories to yeah, have. For like Texas. smack dab in the middle of my bicep. Right. Prime real estate for other tattoos. But. Exactly. No. Well, no. Then you. Then there's something to build on. True. So right. it could be That's a. That's the centerpiece tattoo. Exactly. You could just keep Perfect. getting other bad luck things. That sounds like a terrible idea. Don't do that. <laughs> um, and uh, also, I read in an interview that you guys have a sort of a creative director named Lester. Yeah. Mm. And because I was noticing, I, I almost wore a shirt that is identical to yours. My, I wish you had. <laughs> it's more of a mock turtle than a full turtle. Okay, yeah. But it's the same exact color. This, this turtle is like a, a choker a on choker. you. Yeah, yeah, it's like a full on. I can't, legit. yeah, it gets a little constraining to me, but I, oh, I really wish I had worn it because I could have been in the band like your dad. Been. Yeah, it's me that and easy. Me dad and, you know, a bunch yeah, of. Yeah, you could all be junkies together. Fall color turtlenecks. <laughs> 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 uh, but so talk to me about like the, the, the aesthetic, the the outfits that are cohesive yet. So yeah, we were just like trying to figure out band photos like a year and a mm -hmm. half ago. And uh, I went to Valley Village, which is, do you have Valley Village here? Uh, I'm sure we have the equivalent. Yeah, just like a th chain thrift sure, store yeah. in Canada. And uh, we went there and we were looking for some outfits and our idea was we wanted to dress up like five-year-olds going to a birthday party. So like their mom dressed them. Excellent, like yes. Like little gentlemen. Little <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> and this the, is what... The well-behaved boys yeah. at the birthday party. You know, I got the Oshkosh overalls over there, the turtleneck, yeah. the golf shirt. The color palette is, is very like soothing. A, yeah. It's like a 90s birthday party. I'm into it. Of toddlers. Of to <laughs> really big toddlers. Really yeah. big toddlers. <laughs> That's not weird at all. No. no. That's not weird at all. Um, and uh, also, you guys all live together? 
Yeah, we, we actually to. don't anymore. You don't anymore. Like, do you okay. want to talk about what it was like to live together? It was amazing, actually. <laughs> we, uh, we had just, like, the best house. We had a half pipe that we built in our backyard. Of we course. We had a pool table in our living room. And we had, like, a bunch of our other friends living in the house. So it was, like... But we had a really night. bad uh, rat problem. Oh, good. And so a couple times, like, a rat would die in the wall, and then the whole oh, sm- my house God. would just smell like dead rat until someone found where it was. Ugh. Sometimes in the stove. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. yeah they, when we moved out, they found a dead rat in the stove. Oh, that's dark. That we've, like, been cooking yeah. in. Oh, my God. That doesn't really fit with, fit with the, like, little boy birthday party aesthetic. <laughs> dead no. rats in your stove. No. Yeah. You know, it's a learning experience. We try to look yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Interesting. So, so you don't live together, and do you, I was because I, I was going to ask you, did you wake up and find that you were dressed alike after just consistently being dressed alike? But that's okay actually that anymore. does happen to us it a lot. Like we're always just wearing the same colored jeans and like a white T-shirt. It's not tough though. It's like black pants and yeah. white shirt. Yeah. pretty much most of the time. Yeah, I was going to. Uh, I mean, this is I think the only day in the last two weeks I haven't worn all black. So it, I was nice. just trying to cater to your palate, <laughs> you know, by having white, S- some blue. Yeah, nice. some blue. Exactly. All right, you guys got another song to play. Go for it. Yep, this is a song called Peach Pit.
Audio Tree Live. We're here with Peach Pit. Um, and tis the season of Halloween. I saw on your guys' Instagram that you have a really cool um, face painted picture of spooky yeah. ghosts. And did you guys, you, did someone do that? Yeah, we did that you? a couple weeks ago. We did that with uh, our guy Lester, who cool. we already talked about. Um, and uh, his sister was visiting, and we did the crazy makeup. And Lester was like, we should try to recreate the. Queen the queen, picture. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very cool. Did. So it's, I'm sorry, I can't remember. It. It's like a ghost, a skeleton. There's a skeleton. Mm. Mikey's a clown, pizza skeleton. I'm uh, Dracula, and, and I'm Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. Um, and you also are having a couple of Halloween shows. That do you guys dress up for those? Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah? dress up for Definitely. those. And do you? I don't. I don't want to spoil any. No, we costumes, usually but... like to dress in drag at Halloween. Okay. Because oh. it's really because fun why to dress not? And drag. Yeah. We're talking about like a Scooby Doo mystery team like <laughs> nice. rendition. Or like Daphne and Velma and then we could get Mikey and just a dog collar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he'll be like bondage <laughs> Scooby Doo. That's an Scooby Doo. Excellent. Um, well that kinda answers my next question was uh, in terms of Halloween, do you guys tend to go the route of silly rather than like full on serious? Oh yeah, silly yeah. for sure. That's yeah. cool. Uh, last year Chris and I were Arthur and DW. Oh my God, like yeah. And then the year before, Chris and I, I was uh, Spinelli and, and I was TJ, TJ from Recess. Yep. Um, so yeah, we just, cartoon characters has been usually. That's a good every one. Year. Yeah. And then uh, the people, people that come to your show are dressed up as well. Yeah, we actually made the rule that you, you did. Yeah, yeah. Not allowed <laughs> to come if you don't yeah. dress up. Have you Have you seen any? I, I always find, uh, especially at shows or like at bars or whatever, when people have a little too much to drink and they're dressed as something ridiculous. So then they end up doing something ridiculous and they're dressed like in college one time I saw SpongeBob fighting a wizard in the street. So that is always why I love Halloween. Who won? Uh, I think it was a little bit of a draw because uh, it, it, it just wasn't a, a well-matched. No. It was like a wizard in like a grand shawl. Oh with yeah, like a, hard to fight in that. Yeah. yeah, we were obviously egging them on. So. Yeah. SpongeBob, How could you? SpongeBob, yeah. SpongeBob. <laughs> It was it was very interesting. Um, you guys have two more songs to play. Yeah, you yes, got it. Go for it.
might have woke up to a pair of shoes I've not seen next to mine Did you whisper as you crept in through the door How you'd never done much like this before I was thinking back just the other day Remember when Cool, this is our last song. Thanks, Audio Tree, for having us.
Over here with Peach Pit. That was a beautiful song. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, you have some more uh, upcoming tour dates with Dying Coffee. Yep. And the aforementioned Europe excursion, European vacation. Um, and I was seeing, reading your Twitter. Uh, you have Daddy Tips. Hashtag Daddy Hashtag Tips. Hashtag Daddy yeah, Tips. It's any trend soon? Any <laughs> any particular ones like from this past tour that have been real? Ooh, that's a Daddy Tip. I've, I have a favorite. Do you have a favorite, Chris? I have a favorite, yeah. Besides um, your dad, please don't be a junkie. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that, we haven't actually made that a daddy tip yet, but Got I'm going to do that right after this. Perfect. Um, my favorite's been Always Catch Your Dads. We did a okay. like a three-man stage dive in Toronto. Oh, my. And okay. Peter and Neil just like fell through the crowd completely, Oof. hit the ground hard. It was like Jack Black in School of Rock. Yeah, <laughs> just womp. Yeah. 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 That's hard to watch. My favorite a... one was uh, someone was like, what do I do? I've had a bad breakup. I tried listening to your music and eating ice cream, but it didn't work. So I was like, <laughs> just write sad pop songs about it, put on pastel outfits, and then call people daddy on the internet. And it, it's worked beautifully perfect. for me. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, any You guys, any favorites or tips? Any... Mike's the mastermind of the daddy is. tip. Are you really? Yeah, he's, he's You're like, it's always the quiet more. one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't have any tips right now. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll Jess, consult. do you have any problems that you need help uh, with? Because Mike, <laughs> Mike's a good therapist. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, as a fellow tall person, finding overalls is impossible. So yeah. the fact that you did is... Well, yeah. It's if not really I lose these, tip. I'm screwed. There you go. Not so. really a tip, but <laughs> yeah. just, you know. Um, just just don't statement. be tall is the tip. Don't be tall. <laughs> Hashtag daddy tips. Darn. Hashtag daddy tips. Oh, well. It's all right. Um, cool. So your LP, Being So Normal, is out now. Yep. And yeah. then aforementioned tour dates. Check them out. Thank you so much for being here again. Had Thank a blast. Thanks, um, Jess. Thank, you. thank you for sound crew, lighting, video, all of our team at Audio Tree. And support the band by buying the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks. Until then, keep it spooky. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>